This for investigation we do want to get to tonight. It is a warning here right now. The story you're about to see is graphic. Yeah, popular cosmetic procedure can cause serious injuries, including blindness and even death. We're talking about filler injections and millions of people get them each year. And while serious injuries are rare, our Carly Gordon shows us they can be devastating. That's how I used to be before the nightmare. These are pictures of Carol Bryan before she went to see a doctor to get filler injections. I had a bad reaction. This is three months later, and this her final deformity. Bryan's case is extreme, but it's not unprecedented. A local woman is dead after being injected with a silicone butt implant. She received injections from this woman that they have since hardened. Morris was accused of performing toxic cosmetic procedures on women by injecting non-medical substances. Fillers are a soft, moldable product injected under the skin designed to plump and smooth. The results can be impressive, but serious injuries can happen if filler is accidentally injected into a blood vessel creating a blockage. And the FDA has a long list of possible risks, everything from bruising and infections to stroke and blindness. You can inject uh, into your cheek and you can inject right by your nose. And if it gets in the right blood vessel, it can go back up and find its way behind your eye. Dr. Brian Gawley is a plastic surgeon, and he has concerns because under FDA recommendations, injections should only be done by licensed healthcare professionals, but there is no mandatory training. If you remember from biology, if you get an injection into a blood vessel that's highly upstream, it's going to block off all those blood vessels downstream. It can cause some very significant um, uh, trauma loss to the face. So you can imagine his reaction when we showed him this new trend. Now, come on. This is hard. I don't think so. You know, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my lip filler. This pen can be purchased online. No needles. Instead, it uses high pressure to shoot filler into your lips. Dermal fillers are a medical device regulated by the FDA. This is not. Oh, my God. We had some questions for the manufacturer in China, but we couldn't reach them. The paperwork claims there's a 24-hour helpline, but there's no phone number. And the tiny web address printed on the paperwork doesn't work. The directions encourage people to watch YouTube. Dr. Golly says, don't. You know, one of the things that can, can break skin down is, is high pressure. The FDA says serious injuries from filler are rare, but they're also increasing. So if you are going to get filler, make sure it's with a licensed healthcare professional. And before they inject, Ask them exactly what kind of training they've had. Carly Gordon, News 4 Nashville.